In this video, we are going to discuss passing objects into functions. Um, and so, just a quick background in case you haven't seen the objects video. An object is simply a, an instantiated um, variable or whatever uh, of, a like of a type that is a class. So in other words, this rectangle right here, um, so lowercase rectangle, let's go ahead and rename this to rec just for the, the sake of less confusion. Rec is an object of type rectangle. And so let's say that we want to pass this to a function. And so let's go ahead and build ourselves a function. We'll just call this void uh, print info. And this will take a rectangle called rec as well. And this will simply, um, we'll say printing rectangle info. And then we'll output length and rec.getLength. And we'll go ahead and just follow up with uh, width. And we'll say rec.getWidth. And uh, there we go. Oops. There we go. Just like to have those lined up like that just because I'm a little OCD. All right. And so passing a an, an object to a function might seem very tricky. It's actually, uh, it's kind of scary. We simply use the, uh, the function name. And here comes the hard part. We write the variable name. And that's it. Actually, looking at it that now, that, that seems really easy. It's not hard at all. Let's go ahead and run that, make sure that that works. Oh, no, build errors. It says print info identifier not found. Ah, oh, always bites me. Forgot to put our void print info rectangle. Forgot my prototype. Can't ever forget putting a prototype. So there we go, void print info. Now we've got our constructor, or excuse me, our prototype. Printing rectangle info, length of send with this five because that's what's set up in our constructor. Don't worry too much about that. Okay, so once again, that, that didn't really seem too hard. Not a big deal. So now let's go ahead and uh, test it out with multiple rectangles. So rectangle, we'll say rec one, and we'll do rec one dot, we'll set the length to say five, and rec one dot set width to 98. 98. Now if we print info for rec and print info for rec one, let's go ahead and run it. And sure enough, it works perfectly. Man, this is really not too bad. Um, I'm relieved. Okay, now let's test something real quick here. Um, let's say that inside print info, I'm going to go ahead and rec dot, I'm going to set the length to, uh, let's say 500. Now I'm curious to know whether or not uh, objects, because they are complex, I wonder if they are passed by reference by default. Um, and so let's go ahead and find out. So we've set the length to both of these to 500. So let's go ahead and just output um, new length, 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 there we go. Let's see, uh, length, and then we'll do rec dot get length, and end line. So if this comes back 500, then we know that rectangles are passed by reference, and therefore objects are automatically passed by reference. But if it comes back as the default, which should be 10, then we know that they are not passed by reference by default. So let's go ahead and run it. And new length, let's see, length 10. So once again, 10 means that they are not passed by reference. And so what actually happens here, kind of under the hood, is when this gets called, or excuse me, when this uh, call happens, oh well, it would help if I called the print info. One second. Print info, that way we can actually make sure that this works. Rec, now we'll test it. And once again, we still get length as 10, so that's perfect. Um, what's actually happening here is that when this method gets, or excuse me, when this function gets called, a something called a copy constructor gets called. And that is another magic function. And what this magic function does is it creates an exact copy of this rectangle object and then passes that copy into this function. Um, so we can pass by reference if we use the ampersand just as we normally would, but know this, that objects 
do not pass by reference um, as default. You have to um, explicitly specify that you're passing by reference in order for that to be the case.